Welcome to Corcoros Tips, a series of useful and practical examples you can use with the Corcoros Framework. For more information on Corcoros, please visit corcoros.io. First, we need to take a Corcoros application. The easiest way to create new Corcoros project is to open a terminal and run the follow mailing command with the Kubernetes extensions. Now we can get started to change the codes using any ID tool like a VS Code. When you go through the Palm XML, you can see current Corcoros version and multiple dependency. For example, the Corcoros Kubernetes dependency was added automatically to Palm XML during the command line invocation. In this guide, the Corcoros Kutis project provides a very simple REST endpoint, returning hello to request on greeting. Let's change the course. First, we modify endpoint from greeting to hello and add a new REST endpoint for returning hello with the input name as a parameter during the API invocation. By default, Corcoros offers many useful annotation to associate multiple types of resources in Java source code. Now we are ready to run our application. User may even compile Corcoros Dev mode. This enables hot deployment in the background compilation, which means when you modify a Java file and replace the browser, this change will automatically take effect. Once it started, we can request the provide endpoint. In this case, hello and hello then will be returned. If there are any issues with comparison and deployment, an error page will be let us know. In order to containerize the application, we can find and generate two Docker files in a source directory. First, for the JVM packaging, use the Maven packaging command. It produces two jar files. A runner jar is an executable jar, but it doesn't mean an Uber jar because the dependency already copied into the lib in the target directory. The other one is a regular artifact produced by the Maven build that contains just the class and resources of the project. We can also run the runner application using java-jar command. And we have the result is exactly the same as the Quirkus dev mode. Let's now produce another native executable for our application. It improves the startup time of the application and produces a minimal disk footprint. The executable will have everything run the application, including JVM and the application. Use a Maven package with a native profile and create a native executable image. In this case, we produce the Corcoros tips of runner and we can also run it directly in the target directory. Before going further, be sure to have the working container runtime environment such as Docker and Podman. In this case, we use Minikube as a Kubernetes cluster for deploying a containerized application as well as a Docker runtime environment. Let's do Docker build using dockerfile.native and dockerfile.jvm to build container image. Following the execution of a Maven package, we notice among the other files are generated. Two files named kubernetes.json and kubernetes.yaml in the target wiring classes meta if kubernetes directory. If you take a look at the either file, we will see it contains both kubernetes deployment and a service. An important thing is we need to confirm if the Docker image of the part in the deployment matches the image name and text we just built. Let's deploy JVM packaging application first after we change the name and tag of the image as well as the service type changes the node port for using Minikube service URL with the call command. We eventually have the same result of the REST API invocation like hello then after the application container is running. Once again, use the curl command with the Minikube service URL to make sure the application functionality are with REST endpoints. In this case, hello and hello then will be returned as we expected. Let's make another experimental thing how fast the corpus application on JVM packaging would be scalable on Kubernetes. Use kubectl scale command with the 10 replicas. It takes only a few seconds to spin up 10 containers, and we can check if the REST endpoint is working. Let's do another deployment with a native executable image on Kubernetes, how fast it starts up, and how much it consumes less memory. After we change the container image name and tag as we build, use the kubectl apply command to deploy the application. Let's try to be more scalable environment to change 100 red replications. It takes a less than one minute to run 100 containers on Kubernetes. In this guide, we showed you how we deploy Quarkus application and deploy it using Kubernetes extension. For more Quarkus tips, be sure to subscribe to Quarkus YouTube channel to get notified of exciting new video showcase, many of the other core capabilities designed to solve real-world business and technical problems. Thank you for watching.